first one. I'm going to be using the NSB today. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, according to the commandments of God our Savior and of Christ Jesus, who is our hope. According to the commandment of our God, our Savior, of the Lord Christ Jesus. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, according to the commandment of God, our Savior, and of Christ Jesus, who is our hope. So the Apostle Paul was ordained by God, was elected by God to be an apostle. Apostle simply means sent on a special messenger. His ministry was to bring us the canon of scripture and so very much election takes place is a part of the delegated authority of the church. God chooses some to be apostles and prophets. God chooses some to be bishops and archbishops and deacons. Some to be evangelists. some for this purpose and some for that purpose we all play a role in God's plan and in his delegated authority for the church God chose <coughs> Judah the tribe of Judah to bring forth the king line. God chose the tribe of Levi to bring forth the law. God chose the European monarchs, ordained them kings and queens. To be in charge, presidents in the United States of America, But, through sin and disobedience to God, got them kicked out of their leadership and authority. This Christ was chose to be king of the world. And he established his kingdom in the first century. Now again, the Apostle Paul writing to Timothy. Verse 2, to Timothy, my true child in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father in Christ Jesus our Lord. God chose the Apostle Paul to be a spiritual father to Timothy. And God calls fathers and families to be A spiritual father to their kids. 
have chosen mothers to be the spiritual, to be spiritual mothers to their kids. Grandmothers and grandfathers to be their spiritual grandparents that chose in the church people to be your spiritual brother or sister in the faith. God chose people in the church to be your spiritual father and mother in the faith, brothers and sisters in the faith, to help you, to encourage you. Verse 3, I urge you upon my departure from Macedonia to remain on at Ephesus so that you may instruct certain men not to teach strange doctrine. So the Apostle Paul and God chose Timothy to remain at Ephesus during that time. To tell the false prophets and false teachers not to teach their false doctrines, false prophecies and so forth. And this was during the time when Christians we're going to go through heavy, heavy persecution. First by the apostate Judaism, and later on the Roman Empire. They were in the middle of, during that time in the first century, epicenter of a Caesar called. Verse 4, nor pay attention to myths and endless genealogies which give rise to mere speculation rather than furthering the ministration of God which is by faith. And so the Timothy was instructed to tell the truth, to stand up for the truth, to communicate it, the truth, and to expose those false prophets and false teachers that were slipping in the Ephesus church with Sinai theology. focusing on too much mythology and genealogy. Now, there's nothing wrong with genealogy. Genealogy is important, and it serves a pur pur uh, purpose. It tells us where we come from. But it isn't the only message. The main and more important message is what Christ has done for you and I at the cross of Calvary. And I don't know who you are or where you're at,
what countries you may be in. Worldwide, there's different kinds of religions, different cults, different kind of false teachings and so on out there. And for the faith and the Christian faith, you're going to be persecuted for your faith in Christ. But you are called to proclaim the truth. By word and deed. 